In the coming weeks, Park County leaders plan to address what they describe as the growing challenges related to short-term rentals. Today, county commissioners considered a moratorium, but they quickly backed off on that idea, at least for now. Denver 7's Brandon Richard explains why. County officials here say Park County has seen really an explosion of short term rentals here in the last few years. And while that's obviously good for tourism, they say it has created some problems that need to be addressed. Park County's Board of County Commissioners briefly considered a resolution Tuesday that called for a 120 day moratorium on short term rentals in the county. County officials say it would have provided time for them to learn more about the issues impacting communities and potentially develop plans to address those issues. This moratorium allows for a much longer um, stakeholder involvement with homeowners, STR owners, local businesses. I mean, it really was going to be a much more comprehensive process to try to to get like groups together to brainstorm good solutions. But commissioners said the resolution was not ready for approval. They each agreed they needed to get more input from the public before moving forward. I, I really like the idea of, you know, getting people involved in it. And maybe that is the, the next step is to come out with some stakeholder process that we can define, we can have meetings set up that are public. The county adopted a short-term rental ordinance in 2021 requiring property owners to get an annual license. Commissioners say that ordinance, along with others, would likely be part of a comprehensive review as they try to balance the interests of all stakeholders. Now, county commissioners plan to revisit this issue at a meeting next month where they're hoping, as you heard there, to get more community input. Reporting in Park County, Brandon Richard, Denver 7. Brandon, thank you. Meanwhile, Colorado lawmakers are considering a bill that could increase short term rental taxes. The bill would reclassify homes used for short term rentals for more than 90 days as commercial property. That means property owners could see their property taxes quadruple. Short term rental owners say it would negatively impact their livelihoods, but the bill's sponsor insists it won't impact most short term rental owners. State Senator Chris Hansen says he plans to amend the bill to align with what the IRS considers as commercial activity, and that's any business operating 100 days, 180 days or longer. Six